Hi, I'm Taylor with BTOD.com. I'm going to show you how to use all of the functions on our new VertDesk V3 app. One of the exciting features is the ability to adjust your desk with voice control. To start, open the Google Play Store. In the search bar, search VertDesk. Next, install the VertDesk app. Select Allow for VertDesk to access your location. Select Allow for VertDesk to record audio so you can record your voice commands. Then select Allow for VertDesk to access media on your device. Activate voice control. Then activate the One Touch function. This allows you to easily operate your desk. Read and agree to the terms and conditions before continuing. Activity Assistant is optional. Feel free to hit continue because we will be covering this option later on. Next, you will connect your desk. Select the ellipses in the upper right hand corner to go into the main menu. Select desk connection. If you are setting up more than one desk, match the number from the control box to the number under the visible desks. Select your desk and turn on auto connect. To rename your desk, go into the main menu and click desk settings. Select table name. Here you can personalize the name of your desk. With the VertDesk app, you no longer need a button attached to your desk. Simply use the arrows to move your desk up or down. There are four available preset heights to set up your desk. Each of them allows you to use voice control. I set up my number one for sitting height. Select the edit button. I will name number one, sit down. Use the arrows to set the height of your sitting position. Then hit save. Before you add the voice command, we recommend that you use the same command you use to name your preset so it is easy to remember, though you are free to customize this command. Select add voice command. Say your voice command. Sit down. I will make my number two preset my standing height. My voice command will be stand up so it is easy to remember. Stand up. The remaining presets can be used for things such as an active chair, a different user, or whatever else you would like to use. I will use number three for my active chair. At the bottom of the presets, you will see the stop button. This is used to immediately stop your desk from moving. This button cannot be changed to anything else. To add your voice command, select the edit button. We recommend you use stop for this command. Stop. I will now show you how all of these presets work. VertDesk Listen. Stand up. I can also hit sit down to move my desk to the sitting height. VertDesk Listen. Stop. In the settings, you will find collision sensitivity. All VertDesk frames come standard with the GyroSense technology, which is able to detect soft collisions. The collision sensitivity is a safety feature. We recommend you keep your desk's collision sensitivity set at standard sensitivity. We advise that you only change the collision sensitivity if you are directed to do so by a BTOD representative. Also in the desk settings is the container stop function. The VertDesk's container and shelf stop system allows you to customize your desk's height range. Once programmed, your desk will only operate within your custom height range. You might end up using this function if you plan on putting a file cabinet below your desk or shelving above your desk that you don't want your desk to accidentally run into. To change your highest height, select Upper Stop. Use the arrows to move the desk to your desired highest height. Then hit Save. To change your lowest height, select Lower Stop. Use the arrows again to move to your lowest height setting. Then hit Save. If at any time you want to remove these settings, select the upper or lower stop and then hit the reset button. Be sure to not press the save button as this is only used to save your heights. You will also find desk reset in your settings. The reasons you may need to do a reset is if your table only goes down or if you lose power. If you have a desk that has more than two legs, the reason could also be that the legs are uneven. To perform a desk reset, press and hold the reset button until your desk reaches its lowest height. Once at this point, the desk will move up slightly, indicating that the desk has been reset. 
Your desk should now operate at its normal speed. In the settings, you will also find Activity Assistant. In this setting, you are able to configure your sitting and standing notifications. These will just be notifications to remind you to sit or stand throughout the day. I will set my standing time for 15 minutes and sitting time for 45 minutes. This will be a good setup to get me standing more, but feel free to adjust how you feel. Now activate the Activity Assistant. You are also able to activate the Activity Assistant from the main screen. This is what a notification will look like for the Activity Assistant. In the settings, you will find that you can change the language, view our help page, and also view our privacy policy. I hope this helped answer any questions that you had about the Vert Desk app. If you have any other further questions, feel free to contact us or visit us at the Learning Center at btod.com. Thank you for watching.